So as you probably are all aware of by now, yesterday was our anniversary, our third year anniversary. I can't believe it's already been three years. It's been such an amazing journey. We met back in 2007, so we've known each other for, was it five years now? Yep. Five years. I can't believe it's been five years already. And we have so many more years to go to. We're just we're going strong and I I really, really want to spend the rest of my life until the day we die. With you. So yesterday the one of the biggest highlights of the day was getting this. Don't know if you can see quite all the details, but but this is what he got me yesterday. We had picked this out a couple months ago from Fred Meyer Jewelers, and it was the one that caught my eye. But I wanted to look around to see if there was anything else I wanted more than this. But we went to other jewelers and they don't do a lifetime warranty like Fred Meyer. So if anything should happen, like I lose a diamond, it gets stolen, I need to have it resized or cleaned. Does, does the cleaning action be included? Yeah. The whole so included. all that. All of that is included and I get it done for free or life of the ring, right? Yep. Which is probably going to be forever, hopefully. But... So we ended, up, we ended up going back to Fred Meyer Jewelry and getting this, which I'm really, I love how it sits on my finger. I can't express that enough, but I really just want to thank one person for making this happen. My union with Sean. My wonderful, wonderful sister. I don't mean to like get all gushy all of a sudden but it's all because of you because you told Sean that there was someone that he should meet so we got set up on a blind date at Dairy Queen where my sister and Sean were working at the time and we we're gonna have lunch together all three of us to make it less awkward but then conveniently yes very conveniently Jenny you didn't show up for lunch, which was okay. But I'm sitting there, and he's 15 minutes late because apparently his alarm clock didn't go off. And so I'm sitting there, and when he finally gets there, we just start talking like old friends would. And it was just amazing. And then my sister finally got to go on our lunch, and we sat and talked with her a little bit, and then. We were there for a total of five and a half hours. So he gives me his phone number and I'm just so anxious to see him again because I just really loved talking to him. He was an awesome person. So I called him later that night and we went to Spicer's. They closed and then we went to Sherry's and from then on we were just inseparable. We spent a total time of what eight nine hours oh, yeah, easy yeah eight nine hours if not more together that very first day we met and we've just been inseparable since and then July 16th 2008 we got married we didn't actually do the actual wedding we just did um, as people call it eloping but where we got married was it could have been more perfect we did it through a judge municipal 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 i can never get that word right municipal and we were going to do it in his office but so many people showed up that we just ended up going outside and where we were sitting or where we had the we we're uh, saying taking our vows there was a building behind us with really beautiful like there was like one or two trees right behind us 
no traffic went by during the whole time of our vows, and no one walked by on the sidewalk. It couldn't have been more perfect. And my mom and dad showed up, and so did uh, my mama Betsy and Papa Harold, his parents, and his little sister Courtney, which I was very happy to see the whole family. And our then roommate, Chris, of course he came. After the wedding, we we took Chris with us, and we all had sushi. Well, they did. I'm not a big sushi fan. But yeah, that it was a wonderful day. I just love reliving it.